I am so excited to be here in Clannacilty. The sun is shining and we're going to go and visit an amazing community garden with some fantastic people. It's a garden that's been created by a community for people who had to leave theirs. Asylum seekers in Ireland face so many challenges. One challenge facing residents of a direct provision centre in Clonakilty is having space to grow their own food. I know this is kale, but it's not just any kale. Yes. What type is it? Uh, this is an African type of kale. Okay. Uh, called murio. They use it for smoothies, but mostly we use it for a stew. Sean, what does this garden mean to you? This garden is my life because at least I eat from the garden. It's something that I don't need to go to the shops and try and get money to buy something. We have everything here. Our kale is here. We get onions from here. So everything I need is right from the garden. So this garden is my life. So this is definitely more than just a community garden. How else would you describe it? It's a place of inclusion, of integration, of education and of joy and celebration. Karzan in particular, who, who, who grows the food for the family here, says that when it gets too much for him, he knows he can come here, he can look after his garden, and he can feed his family really good organic food. Oh, you have got uh, some parsley here, and strawberry. Yeah, these look amazing. tomato. So yeah, it is a mixture of vegetable. I enjoy gardening a good. lot, because you know that people here, most of them, Basically, they are not allowed to work, so they have more free time, so mm -hmm. they can come here to grow whatever they need and enjoy. So this is good for them. So check this place out. Not only is the garden fantastic, but all the people involved have created this amazing polydome. Um, it's going to provide an extra space for everybody to grow, for sure, but it's also somewhere that they're going to host events like fantastic culture nights, again, bringing ever more people together. Already we're hosting, we're, they are hosting a beautiful exhibition. This is an art project called Marking Time, whereby the women who live in the Direct Provision Centre made a stitch for every day that they have been waiting for their application to go through. One of the women, she stitched over 3,200 stitches on a piece of material because she's been waiting over nine years to have her application uh, looked at. So that's clearly a very uh, emotional project in a very amazing space. What's your real sense of, of Clonakilty Garden? People have been through so much, the people that come here, just to have a space that's beautiful that must be amazing. But now that it's being shared with the whole community, it's just incredible how it is. Uh, it's obviously been a long, long haul. I think it's three years ago we first came here. And just wonderful now that they can grow their own food. There have been so many restrictions on what they can do. It just must bring you back to your own roots. For you, what, what does the garden mean? You can come out, you know, enjoy here. Actually, I hope them to continue, you know that. And I hope Irish government and Irish other organisation, community, continue funding these people to continue, you know, that encouraging people to come outside in the lodge and do gardening here. Yeah. In just three years, these guys have created an amazing community garden. Not only is it a garden for growing, this is a place that clearly says to people, you are welcome here. You do have a place here and you really feel part of. I'm sure that's pretty much what anybody wants to hear.